Under the centralized command of the Integrated Gun and Gang Task Force, their work implementing this operational plan has been extremely effective in increasing safety in communities, gathering intelligence, identifying persons of interest, increasing the solvability of cases, and making arrests and laying criminal charges. These men and women go out every day to tackle the issues of street gangs and gun violence and the impact it has on communities. And it is very difficult work. In the first six weeks of Project Community Space, our officers have made 240 arrests and laid 525 charges. Firearms-related offenses account for 35% of these charges. Fail to comply and breach of conditions account for 17% of the charges. 11% were for violent offenses, including assault, sexual assault, and robberies. 8% of the arrests were made on outstanding warrants. In those six weeks, 12 individuals who were free on bail for firearm-related offenses were rearrested. In addition to their fail to comply, they face a variety of new firearm and violent-related offenses, including possession of firearms, which had serial numbers tampered with, and possession of prohibited and restricted firearms, and assault with a weapon. Over the six weeks, shooting events have decreased 30% compared to the six weeks prior to the start of this project. Time spent by officers on-site processing complaints was 15% shorter, allowing officers to quickly move on to the next call. These results speak to the project being intelligence-led and that officers are in key areas and able to get to scenes quickly. Being community-focused is a key element of the services modernization plan, and this enhancement is allowing for our officers to be where the communities need us the most. The project allows for increased presence and visibility in patrol cars and foot and in areas where street gangs are prevalent and where have, and we have seen some effectiveness as a deterrent. Communities have informed our members that they have noticed an increase of police presence and that they feel safer. Toronto Police have also made 38 referrals to community agencies, of which 17 were to gang exit programs. And finally, the Integrated Gang and Gun Task Force has held six of the 31 pl planned gang prevention town halls aimed at educating and supporting families who live in areas affected by street gangs and whose children may be at risk for recruitment.